Dan from Creepy Creations here, long time no see. Got some Halloween projects on the go, maybe, uh, I don't know, a wiper motor or two. Even if you're not using those, you might need some power for some uh, projects. And rather than using batteries, I'm going to show you how you can use a PC power supply to power a lot of different projects and uh, how you have to deal with the power supply itself. Okay, so here's your very typical PC power supply. I ripped this one out of an old Dell PC. Uh, they're actually throwing these out at work, so they let me take a couple home. And uh, these are great, especially when they're free. So uh, you'll notice uh, most PC power supplies, in fact, do not have a power switch on them at all. In fact, all you have is the plug in the back there and a bunch of connectors. So how do you turn the darn thing on and off? Well, there's a little trick to that. The first thing you gotta do is supply some power. Let's see what it does. So how do you know if one's working? Well, easiest way, plug it in and see what happens. And how do you know it's working? The fan's running. Hey, wait a minute, the fan isn't running. What's the big deal here? Well, even though there is no power switch on most of these PC power supplies, the PC obviously has a way of switching the power on and off. So we have to figure out what that is. So let's take a look at some of these funky connectors on here. This bad boy, fairly chunky, Actually, only two different colors of wires going on here, black and yellow. Just so you know, black, always ground, and in this case, yellow, 12 volts. Hmm, I wonder what 12 volts might be good for. Wiper motors. This bad boy here, you'll notice, yellow, 12 volts, gotta be, black, ground, other black, ground, red. Hmm, what's that? Five volts, good for lower voltage projects. Red, or orange rather? Well, it's got a little chart we can look that up on. I typically don't use much in that realm because it's a very low voltage, typically about 3.3 volts for very low voltage stuff. Might be used for some LEDs, something like that, but I typically don't use it. This guy, another tiny little connector, red and a black, gotta be five volts on there. Now this bad boy here, this is the one we're really interested in got all sorts of wires going into it. We got reds, we got yellows, oranges, purple, blue, a lot of them not even interested in. One thing we are interested in is, and I've already cut them off, this green one. It's only one of them. That green wire is actually the secret to powering this thing on and off. Believe it or not, all you have to do is connect that green wire to ground and the relay inside kick in and the fan starts turning. That is your power switch or can be your power switch. So you can hook a little switch up to that and you can use it to turn it on and off or if you just want it on all the time just connect them permanently together and as soon as you plug the power supply in it'll be generating voltage for you. So now here's the fun part. You can rip those wires off and use them for whatever voltages you need. Typically wiper motors use 12 volts if you want to run them at top speed and maximum power. However, for the project I have in mind, I actually want to run a little slower, like our uh, ship steering wheel. There's a video up for you if you want to see that. And that runs on 5 volts to keep the speed a little bit lower, and I don't need a ton of power for what I have in mind either. However, I will show you how the motor works on both sets of voltages. Since I want to use both 5 and 12 volts, I'm going to use this slightly smaller connector here that has all the multicolored wires on it. It's not the really big one with everything, but I can get 12 volts, ground, and 5 volts without much difficulty. I'll step the other two wires off just so that I got them all free. Strip the ends off, and we're ready to rock and roll. save myself some grief. I'm just going to permanently, or at least semi-permanently, put the green and the black wire together so that I'm always going to have power when I plug the power supply in. Now let's test this out on the motor. Okay, I've got my wiper motor ready. I've hooked our ground wire from the power supply to one of the power leads from the motor. I previously tested this with the battery, so I know what it is I'm hooking up. And here's basically the flip side of it. So what happens if we put 5 volts on? And plug it in. And we 
get a very nice slow rotation. Still a fair bit of power in there, so it's not uh, like a total whip, but it's very difficult. I can't really stall it out. But slow, good for things like ship steering wheels and the other project I have in mind. However, you need a little more oomph. Use 12 volts. Way more power, way more speed. But there you have it. Easy to use on a power supply from a PC and uh, plenty of juice for pretty much any project you'd have in mind. So there, just a real quick and dirty uh, demo how you can use a PC power supply to power a couple of different things. Uh, in this case I've used a wiper motor, 5 and 12 volts. Either one will work for a wiper motor and it gives you pretty good control over the speed of the motor without having to get a uh, actual motor speed controller or something in there. So I can use the cost now because basically I'm cheap. Anyways, uh, I'll uh, update you on the project I've uh, got uh, in mind for this uh, bad boy. And, uh, but you can use this information if you want to power your own projects. In the meantime, stay safe and have fun.